Hello and welcome to Aviation Audio Video on the Road. I'm Tom Rinker. So, do you remember your first air show? Well, mine was at Broome County Airport, just north of my hometown of Binghamton, New York. I was about 10 maybe, and like most kids, walking up to a real live airplane for the first time was huge. I walked away so excited and full of aviation that I knew I wanted planes to be part of my life from that point on. Well, air shows capture the hearts and minds of the public for many important reasons. It might be a new military aircraft making its debut at your local airport, or maybe exhibitors enticing kids to consider a career in aviation, or even the excitement of watching breathlessly as parachutists float overhead. Well, it's all part of the magic of the air show. They entertain, inform, and educate us all no matter who we are, and they plant the airplane bug into the heads of future pilots, present company included. So this time I returned to Wings Over Camarillo, an air show I'd been to before and become quite familiar with. But this time I got to experience it from a whole new perspective and happily bring you all along for the ride. So let's go in. Well there are a couple of things about this air show I really like. The show combines military and general aviation aircraft in a really great way. And it does it by making both really accessible to see in the air and on the ground. And that's the other thing. You can get real up close with these birds and their pilots are ready and willing to tell you all about them. My airplane is a kit-built Cirrus VK-30. I built it in Dodge. Started building in 1987 and uh, well, earlier than that, about 84. And the first flight was in uh, August of 1990 and I did the final assembly and testing here in Camarillo. So I've been uh, actually part of the air show occasionally for 10 or 12 years now. This year I couldn't fly in it, but uh, I often do. Uh, I've got almost a thousand hours on the airplane. It flies great. I've been all over the country with it. Family loves flying with me. We go take trips. My wife especially loves to go to Vegas, which in this plane is about 50 minutes away from our base in Van Nuys. Pretty fascinating. So before we take to the skies, let's check in with an organization who's been a huge support for aviation, this show, and women pilots in particular. I had the great privilege of running into the national president of the 99s, Martha Phillips, and she summed it up quite well. And uh, we are an organization, an international organization of women pilots. Uh, we have women pilots who are licensed. We also have members who are student pilots that we try to help get through their license. Uh, we have a lot of work that we do in terms of education and mentoring. Uh, our kind of claim to fame is how many scholarships we give during uh, every year for both student pilots as well as for advanced ratings. The local chapter here, which is called the Ventura County 99s, is one of the largest chapters actually in the world. We have over a hundred members and they do, we do such good work. I am a member of that chapter so I can say we do a lot of really good work and here at the show what we do is we provide the pancake breakfast in the mornings, both mornings, and that's part of our fundraising effort for those scholarships. Another part is we do a silent auction, but in other areas we also volunteer to do a lot of work around the uh, airport for the air show and trying to make it a very successful. We have members of ours who are on the board of directors for the air show. Well, our membership goes all the way from people like me who fly a Cessna 172 for fun all the way up to astronauts and uh, anything and everything in between. Thanks, Martha. Well, I mentioned earlier about career opportunities. Here are some folks who would like you to find your dream job in the aircraft world. Well, basically we're here to uh, promote the Sheriff's Office. Uh, we have uh, quite a few brochures and information about the uh, Sheriff's Office as far as uh, the positions that we're currently hiring for, which are listed on the back wall here. Um, anyone that's interested in becoming uh, a deputy sheriff or wants to work in our civilian field can walk up, ask questions. Uh, we can hand out brochures to them, explain how the process goes, and hopefully get some good uh, applicants out of it. My name is Roger Benninger. I'm the Aviation Director at SBB College. 
Uh, we're very pleased and very proud that we were here at the Camarillo Air Show last year and it was our inaugural event. And uh, since then, we've uh, multiplied the number of students in our, in our courses and classes that are completing the requirements to join the aviation industry as commercial pilots. The primary objective of the SBB College Aviation Program is to provide professionally trained pilots that can very naturally and effortlessly flow into the aviation industry in roles for private aviation and regional air carriers. I'm really pleased that the program is well thought out and, and I believe it's the most efficient and economical way to enter the aviation industry. All the students complete not only an associate degree in aviation science, but all their certificates and ratings in less than a year and a half. Wow, pretty cool. Maybe you just want that perfect form of fold-up transportation to get you to a destination after you land. Well, here's Robin with the perfect pilot's toy. My name's Robin Gardner, and I own uh, Dog Lake Electric Bikes based in Ventura, California. And we're at the air show here in Camarillo. And these are our electric bikes here. They're uh, lithium battery packs, uh, 36 volt, 10 amp hour batteries on the bikes. They're really fun to ride. Uh, we have three different models. We have a fold up bike, a mountain bike style, and then a step through style bicycle. And uh, Dog Lake's the brand name. And it's kind of a quirky name, but it catches people remember it, so it's good. Okay. Well, enough walking around. It's time to settle in for some good old-fashioned air show speak and a great show that's about to begin.
Wow, well, I'm stoked. All these performers are so skilled, but I have to admit, I'm saving the headliners till last. Here's the only helicopter acrobat in America warming up for a great presentation. It's Chuck Aaron warming up his Red Bull helicopter for his final show at Camarillo. I hope I can catch up with him after he's done. Well, let's keep our fingers crossed. I started doing aerobatics about 10 years ago with Red Bull, and uh, I was asked to do it, and it all started from a challenge. So someone challenged me if I could do aerobatics. I told them, no, you couldn't do it. And about two weeks later, I thought of this way to do it, if I had this helicopter and if I modified it. Well, that leads me to the second question. What kind of modifications did you have to do to make this helicopter withstand these kind of forces? Oh, it's a good question, but I'm not, I'm not allowed to tell you. That. It's, 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 secret, uh, it's a secret mixture, but uh, Red Bull makes me keep secret. Just like their recipes, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, great. Well, it sounds like you're not going to be flying out here anymore for the Camarillo Air Show. What are your future plans? Uh, I've got I got three more air shows to do. Uh, one in Miramar, one in Dallas, and one my last one in Las Vegas in, the, in the next three months. And then I'm going to retire doing aerobatics. I'm just going to be doing normal flying. Now, what does normal flying mean for a guy like you? Uh, flying straight and level. <laughs> well, I'll bet you're relieved after all these years of uh, daredevil flying. I am. It's been 10 years. I've done 250 air shows, and everything's been safe, and everything's good, and. I, and I want to quit while I'm on the top and I've finished everything safely. This is stuff well, you put on a fantastic show and I appreciate being able to see it. Uh, thank you for asking. I appreciate it too. All right, that was awesome. Well, now let's watch co pilot Ryan Webster putting a V 22 Osprey through its paces. Then maybe a chat with him too. Some sound or 320 miles per hour. It can fly nearly a thousand nautical miles on internal fuel. It has a maximum service ceiling of 25,000 feet and is capable of aerial refueling. My name is uh, Captain Brian A. Webster, actually from Camarillo, California. I'm a co-pilot with the MM363. Uh, my job here uh, is to be the second pilot for the demonstration of the MV-22. We like to do a, uh, a level 3 demo, basically pull up into a hover, do a couple pedal turns, transition out into airplane mode. We'll uh, go out to the dog going pattern to the north, come back around at Buster, and then we'll land. Once we land, we'll overshoot a little bit, back up for the crowd, and then we'll do a 360 degree uh, turn, pedal turn. And once they got the testing done on this thing, it was known that it would actually work out and be one of the best things for the Marine Corps that they ever had. Basically, this aircraft will now replace the C-8, the, the 46, the double rotor helicopter that you hear tapping around with that classic whoop whoop sound. This is its replacement. And with its ability to carry a load that it does and the speed that it goes, this aircraft is going to do a lot of work. 
What is it like to train for this type of plane as opposed to other fighters? Well, the, I would say the biggest learning curve is that thumb wheel switch. Uh, when you're going through, everything's power for thrust and you know, uh, pitching for altitude, you know, roll, and then helicopters, it's all about you know, bringing up on the collective to get some more uh, altitude, power, and then pitching forward for airspeed, coming back to slow down, and then once again roll. The only thing that's different with this guy is you use your thumb wheel switch to also control your airspeed. So at first it's a little bit of a learning curve. You gotta make sure that you're paying attention to how fast you're rolling down the, the uh, cells or how slow you're bringing them back. Thanks so much, Ryan. Well, it's happened again. Another air show and another helping of airplane excitement. And what do the visitors think? It's cool the tricks they do. The tricks are cool, yeah, for sure. And getting to get upside, up and inside the aircraft is really cool, too. It's really fun. Mm -hmm. Awesome time, right? Yep. yep. Great Good time. times. Yeah, I'll go with that. I don't think I'll ever tire of this. I can just imagine what the future holds for air shows and the innovations they'll bring to us. It only took a little more than one generation after the Wright brothers to get us this far. What will the next generation bring? Well, I hope to be able to show you some of it. But for now, I'm Tom Rinker for Aviation Audio Video on the Road, saying thank you for watching, and as always, keep looking up.